it is 4 15 in the morning and we are we've just packed the car and we're ready to go on vacation i'm bringing you with me so uh welcome to a vacation vlog to the destination for the night we have been family always family we have been driving for 12 hours today we left the house around 4 30 in the morning now we just had some nice german food and some very family still and so, <laughs> some very nice big beers Vice beer is my favorite, so we just had that. Now we are taking a walk here by this little river. I don't know what kind of river this is at all, <laughs> but uh, uh, it feels nice to be walking a little bit after a little too much beer and a lot of schnitzel and uh, French fries. So good idea to be walking a little bit before <laughs> checking in. I had two very childish people in front of me, my husband and my oldest, Filming me vlogging while they pretend to be vlogging. Yeah. Anyway, just checking in to say hello and good night. And uh, tomorrow we're going to uh, Como, which is a town very close to Milano, but it is also uh, the town next to the Como River. No, Como Lake, Lake Como. So that's uh, known as one of the most beautiful places in the world. So very exciting to be going there. So see you tomorrow. Uh, walking down in the southern part of Germany, uh, here you see uh, a lake and a very d famous Danish uh, podcaster and knitter, Camillo Knit, podcasting. Hashtag, has hashtag not sponsored. <laughs> not sponsored, but she's uh, very important. And now she's uh, podcasting about being down here. And you can actually see she's got a very famous Danish homemade uh, sweater on. Beautiful, beautiful. Love you. Hashtag bye bye. This is where we stay here in Como. We're going out for some dinner now.
morning. It is day two here in Como, and we're gonna go <laughs> for a long sail trip on the lake. Good morning. Um, today it is, I don't even know what day it is because it's vacation day. <laughs> so uh, I know it's Sunday and I think it's probably the July 10th. 
and we arrived to this beautiful house in Croatia yesterday. We had a very long travel from uh, the Como Lake in Italy to all the way you just kind of cross the southern part of Europe to go here. And uh, we finally made it. And uh, now we landed in this little, feels like a little bit of paradise here. It's so quiet and we have this house to ourselves. And I think we all just really needed to just be really relaxed and have no plans. The only plan we have, we have this house for a week. The only plan we have is that um, tomorrow we're gonna rent a boat and sail a little bit around the sea. On the, I don't know where we're gonna sail. <laughs> we're just gonna sail around a little bit and maybe just swim from the boat. We will see about that. And uh, of course I will see if I can get some footage. I'm a little worried because I really don't like that much to be on a ship, but uh, my husband is actually, uh, uh, I don't even know that know what that's called in English, but he's he's like a captain of a big oil rig, so he can sail the biggest container ships in the world. So I know I will be safe. I I know I still just don't like it. I get really seasick easily. So uh, being on the sea is just really not my thing. But the girls are so excited, and uh, there's no wind tomorrow, so I will not be seasick. So I'm sure it will be a wonderful. Uh, sailing trip and I know I will enjoy it once I'm on board and everything is good but I'm always a little concerned about that staying on the ocean. Um, I have gathered some knitting to sit outside today. I am right now actually working on a test knit from uh, Anina. She's a Finnish designer. Let me show you. I'm working on this Oh Honey Suck. And uh, this is take two, because the first one I had to rip all the way. I was almost at the same spot as where I am now. I had to rip it all out because um, these little cables, they're adorable, but they also tighten your work a little bit. And Anina did say that, but I was still just, yeah, yeah, it'll be fine. <laughs> but uh, it wasn't fine. So uh, I have cast it on 66 stitches and it's really, it fits Esther's little slim foot perfectly. So uh, when she's away next year, I will send these along with her. She's going to, this is a very, it's a tradition here to make you send your kids to boarding school and it's not strict or anything like that. I think I have explained that before, but just to give them a year away from home to kind of focus on different things. And um, so it's not a, it's not a, it's not a punishment. It's a, it's a thing like, I think maybe 50, 60% of all the, the kids here have, after ninth grade before they go to high school they have this year and they focus on theater movie making sports whatever and esther is joining this film and acting school for one year and she's very excited about that and uh, yeah so that is why uh, these sucks for her she can bring them to her boarding school and i have also winded up some yarn for the true blue sweater that i'm going to knit for the girls and I'm still just can't wrap my head around exactly what technique I'm going to use if I'm going. Actually, my first idea was to kind of cast on shoulders from one end to the other and then knit the back and then come back and pick up stitches and knit the front and then join in the round and later. But right now I just feel like casting on all the stitches and start from the bottom up and see what happens. And if it's um, not the perfect way, I can always rewrite the pattern. So we will see about that. <clears throat> My next concern is that I think I have only brought a long wire and I really like when I knit these smaller sweaters to just have the smallest uh, wire. I don't, is that uh, like a 60 centimeters and I only have 80. So that might be a little problem. But now I'm just gonna sit here and knit for a little bit and drink my coffee, which is without milk. So it's almost doesn't even count as coffee. I said to Lars, uh, yesterday I might wake you up very early so you can go get me some coffee. Uh, not some coffee, but some milk. And of course I could go myself, but the little street that we had to take to get to this house was like, at the end of it, I said, this is not even a road. We can't go up. And it was so steep. It was like this and it's very narrow. Oh, that was so scary. Uh, luckily he uh, does not, he's not scared of anything. And we have the electrical car, so there's no worry about a motor. Or I'm afraid the car will tip back because it's so steep. 
<laughs> well anyway we are good everything is nice i just want some milk for my coffee but um this was my little morning hello <laughs> and, uh, i'll talk to you later guys it's dinner time here in croatia and we just finished day number one with great success we have just enjoyed this place and this pool and the view and the food and everything so it's about to eat so cheers
morning. I don't know what day it is. <laughs> I know it's Tuesday. That's all I know. We were supposed to be out sailing yesterday, but we uh, postponed that until tomorrow because of the weather. There was a little bit it was a cloudy, cloudy days. So <laughs> we just wanted to be sure that we had a full day of sun when we we're renting that little boat and sailing around um, just by the shore of the coastline here in Opatia, where we live in Croatia. So I just made myself a coffee and finally I have milk. And um, it's very early, it's like 6, 6.30 or something. So there's no chance no one is going to wake up the next couple of hours. Actually, Lars uh, started a fever last night. So we're just gonna keep him in a room and check if he's okay. I'm sure he will be fine. He just needs some sleep. Um, and I decided finally on the construction for the true blue sweater for the girls. Uh, actually, Nomi is uh, the color boss on this one. She didn't dye the yarn, but she made me dye, I don't know how many different blues, a sink, a sink, I think. <laughs> this was uh, blue number three. Uh, my third attempt to get the perfect blue. So we finally have the true blue that she was looking for. Hence the name true blue sweater. If that will be the name of the sweater, I haven't completely decided on that yet. But I decided on the construction. So this will actually be the, the back. So I'll cast it on from here to here. And I will knit the back. Then I will pick up stitches on both sides and knit the shoulder and then eventually knit in the round. And that way you will have those um, steep lines here where you pick up stitches for the sleeve. I think that construction will look the best. And as you can see my, it will kind of grow a little bit. Uh, my shoulders are wider than uh, Nomi and Esther's and um, this is going to fit Nomi the best and be a little oversized for Esther, but um, that's the way they like it anyway. So even though it's uh, a size medium, I think Esther, which is uh, somewhere between an extra small and a small, it'll be cute on her because it has another oversized look. So uh, that's always an option <laughs> when picking out the size. What is it that you want? You want something to be um, close to your own measurement. So do you like something oversized? You can always adjust the length of everything. And actually that's always, not always, that is, that is also why I decided on this construction for the sweater. Um, that way you can decide the length of it. Uh, it's always nice to be able to try it on, but you have to remember at the same time that your gauge is crucial. So you might think you have to knit it X, um, whatever amount of centimeters or inches, but when you wash it and block it, it might actually be too long or not long enough. So make sure you make your swatch beforehand. Count your gauge both in this way and this way, so you know exactly how many rows actually you need to knit and not how many centimeters you need to knit. Uh, yeah, so good morning. I will knit and enjoy my coffee and I'll talk to you later. I'm just checking in today has been really quiet it has been raining like crazy there's been thunderstorms I can still hear thunder actually Lars has been sick all day fever no coronavirus luckily but um fever sore throat and just tired so he has been watching the Tour de France and sleeping a little bit he's feeling a little bit better so I'm hopeful that he will be more vacation mood tomorrow so I just opened a beer. He even wanted a half a glass of beer. So that's a good sign. I'm cooking. We're drinking a little beer. Everything here is soaking wet. <laughs> um, 
but it has actually been uh, nice. I've just been reading a lot, knitting a lot, playing cards with the girls while I was sleeping. So sometimes when the weather is like this, something else will happen and it will still turn out to be an amazing day in its own way. So uh, yeah, just checking in to say that not much content today, just a lot of rain. So uh, yeah, I'll go back in and finish my cooking. So this morning, our host came by because they are cleaning the pool. And I just want to show you what else he brought. Like all this Croatian breakfast stuff. All these small croissants. And also some that's very Croatian. I think I've never seen this before. This is not sweet, it has like a, and you can see in here, like a cheesy kind of middle and a huge loaf of bread. So he cleaned the pool and this was in a basket on the table outside this morning. That is just so very nice.
checking out for today. As you can see, the sun has set. The moon has risen, risen, risen. Anyway, it's up there looking gorgeous, reflecting in the ocean. We had the most wonderful day, as you can see on the pictures. Uh, Rovin was uh, more gorgeous than I could have ever expected. And we had a lovely day on the ocean. I'm checking out. It's time to celebrate that uh, Vingigo actually won the state today in Tour de France, which is a big thing. And he got the yellow jersey. So we're going to celebrate, watch the Tour de France like update on TV. Have a little cold beer, then go to bed. Good night. Last day, last night. Tomorrow we are heading home. We are going to leave very early in the morning, around 4, 4.30, just to get ahead of all the other tourists that are going to leave Croatia on a Saturday. So um, thanks for watching this uh, little vacation vlog. I might do a little uh, ended, ended when I'm back home, sometimes Sunday or Monday, but yeah, we'll see. Thank you for watching. See you. Good morning it is sunday morning it's uh i think it's around 8 30. i woke up at 7 so i have had uh just a little hour or so here in my office surrounded by all my yarn <laughs> and my coffee and watching some uh knitting podcasts on youtube just to kind of uh get back into the feeling of being home it feels good I love to travel, but I just really love to come home too. Tomorrow we're going to the summer house and um, that's just another kind of vacation. That's just a home away from home. So that's um, one of my favorite places in the whole world to be. So I can't wait to go up there. So I just wanted to um, kind of wrap this little vacation vlog. Um, I hope it has not been too boring of a content. It's mostly just small clips of um, what we have experienced at the Como Lake and in Croatia. So not very knitting related, but a little, yeah, just a little travel vlog <laughs> with a little knitting spice here and there. So uh, thank you so much for watching. I'm going to wrap this up and um, a regular podcast episode will be up. Um, not this coming Friday, but I'm thinking the Friday after that. So enjoy your summer out there, guys. And I will be back with a regular episode. Before you know it, I will let you know on Instagram. <laughs> I to spill coffee all the way down my white shirt. Look. Anyway, it's time for me to wrap this up. I even have a coffee cup in the way now. This is not going well. I need more vacation time. I'll see you. Thank you for watching. Thumbs up, subscribe if you like what you see. And uh, I'll be back on the channel before I know it. Take care, guys. Bye.